Evening Gold Digger, we got a letter from the Novistan Department of Information. They're not very thrilled with the direction our paper is taking. I would say I would like to remain independent. At least I'm still getting standard pay. And I need to put three articles for consumption. Stable articles don't count towards the quota. Have a product. Oh, Miss Rivera called in sick today, but hasn't checked in. I've seen you two chatting a bit after work. Maybe you should check on her at the hospital. Good day. Okay, so welcome back to Headliner Novi News. Last time, California man got approached with the trench coat people, apparently called the Truth Tellers. Truth behind genetic illness. The sickness spreading through Zenobistan is not natural. The suicides are no accident. The genetic markers indicate the disease is engineered by man. It is time you all ask who is pulling the strings. Right, so for now, we are dealing with the political alignment mechanic. In the original headliner, it was between the modified people versus the purest people. Basically, should people have a genetic modification or not? And I guess since this headliner no news is a lot more complex than the original headliner, now we have to deal with multiple issues and all multiple sides, such as the Novistan or Lyris support. Currently, I am siding with Evelyn here and trying to be merciful to the Lyrisian immigrants of Novistad. I am trying to side with these truth tellers about genetic illness. I don't really know how this is going to affect the story in any way soon. And rather than say something bad about Better Buzz, I am going to support mental health discussions. Of course, if you were too drunk to really care about your mental health, then mental health support isn't really that useful. But with all of those decisions, we are done with work. And now California Man can walk around Novistan and see a whole lot of graffiti vomiting people like a lot of vomiting people and some protesters and we go a little further we 
see at a pub that my brother is going to be performing at some point. My reporting is probably going to have people paranoid. Wake up people, the disease is man-made. And it seems like a lot of the truth tellers are the regular people around here. Let's just go see Evelyn in the hospital where everyone is, I guess, forming major lines. And something tells me that national health care is probably going to suck for Evie since she has modification rejection sickness. And, well, it's going to suck for her, but... Let's try not to be too harsh with her, and I guess we are still good friends. And I guess some Larissian immigrants are currently living in Novistan. Unlike the last game, we don't have very overt markings as to indicate who is a Larissian. Anyway, let's go see what's in Rudy Mart. Well, it seems like Dunabai is not very good business for Rudy here. And I am, for the most part, going to try to be as supportive of all the extra characters in Headliner Novi News. And we have some backstory on this guy. Apparently he met his wife in an accident until saying of words. And it looks like my brother is starting up stuff and it seems like better buzz is affecting people not like this guy is going to care but I got 60 bucks I think I can spend some money on dog treats and better buzz have a guy on top of the building here and now we are being accosted by another stranger and it looks like this guy is a government stooge I see that this guy is intently reading all of the articles I have allowed to be broadcasted amongst the citizens of Novistan. And 
he is a bringer of very ominous music. This tiny voice of reason. And something tells me that like the original headliner, California man is going to need to get some defensive measures. I don't know if I can use the police as a protective force for me. But at least I can feed meat bags some treats. It seems like Meatbag likes my brother, Justin, but for now let's just give it a belly rub because it is a good boy. And it seems like we have a sign still on Better Buzz, and I'm not really interested in the radio, we don't need to feed the dog just yet, and it seems like Justin can reap some benefits in nationalized healthcare in regards to mental health. I guess Novastan is sort of stirring up some stuff. And looks like this is going to be a big competition on resources. Honestly, I think the guy's kind of a jerk. Let's see how crazy Novastan will probably become once certain decisions get made again. Hopefully Tuesday I can still catch this show that Justin is going to be performing in. I guess it's nice to have someone supportive. And I see he's talking about his comedy gig. And now we're seeing some character moments here. Hopefully, he will be mentally sound once he starts doing some big comedy show. And it seems like everyone's acknowledging me publishing a truth teller article. And better but. This guy doesn't become super drunk during his act. And we see some drones flying around. Now we said I don't need computer. And with that, the sixth day of Headliner News is done. I shall see you later. In the next video, I am sure something's going to go horribly, horribly wrong, so please 
like, and subscribe.